Well, hi everyone. This morning I would like to show you how my pots are doing as far as uh, those hanging plants that I planted with the burro's tail. I've never tried these baskets before with the cocoa liner. And I was at one of those um, garden stores and they had them for sale, so I bought a couple. And I thought, well, I'll go ahead and put um, my rat's tail cactus and my burro's tail in it. Um, they were in some little containers, the original containers I bought them um, in last year. So just wanted to show you how they're doing and that's the rat's tail right there. Um, it is doing beautifully. Um, as far as my review of these uh, types of liners, they look very nice, very organic. Um, they drain very well, obviously, because it's a cocoa liner. Um, they're a little bit slouchy. I think that um, they, um, well, these were probably cheap because they were only like, I don't know, five bucks or something like that. Um, so maybe the liner is not the top of the line cocoa liner that um, you would buy. But um, yeah, it seems to um, be a little bit slouchy and uh, I don't know if you can tell on the right there. Yeah, it's it's kind of like slouching down from one side, but it's pretty steady. I mean, the basket is not, um, it's pretty sparse as far as the the netting, the metal netting goes or the iron netting. But yeah, look how beautiful that is. See that? Um, especially that one there, it's doing so good. Um, beside it, in a plastic pot is a, um, oh shoot, talk about the finger, <laughs> is a, uh, it's called a um, string of bananas, string of bananas, and that one I've, um, I got it from um, a man who was selling, we went to buy some cactus and and um, I complimented his string of bananas and he gave me a few strands and they were not rooted. So I decided to just go ahead and uh, put them in the pot and uh, and root them. And uh, I got some also from, from my cactus society. They were giving some strands away and I kind of combined those and they're doing really good. As you can see, they're good size. Um, I would like them to be a little bit fuller. Those are very, I found they're temperamental as far as uh, sun. They don't like a lot of sun. So I have them in that corner. They get a little bit of morning sun, but here in Southern California, we are getting hot outside. So as you can tell, my little um, stilling pots are barren. They're, they're, they're bare. They, they, I took out whatever was in there because last year, um, my succulents that I had in there just toasted. It gets too hot. Um, and we've had, you know, temperatures go up to like a hundred and, you know, ten. Uh, so, yeah, too hot for them. But look how pretty all my other ones are doing. My little cart, love it, love it, because, um, yeah, I just rotate the plants. I roll it over to, to, um, you know, just switch the sides. If I think that they need um, more sunlight or whatever but as you can see this is morning light and um, early morning light it's probably like I don't know eight o'clock 8 a.m. and um, they get nice light um, they're where they are so I haven't been moving it too much and um, yeah and this is the other table that um, I had made I'm taping from the inside of my bedroom because it is uh, early morning and uh, although I do go in the morning and do like a little tour and inspection of my garden before it gets too hot um, yeah just wanted to show you um, that everything's doing awesome um, I have a little spider plant that I uprooted from the front yard it came out last year under uh, a geranium that I had and it was tiny and uh, I cut it down and it came up last year again I mean last year this year so I went ahead and just took it out of the ground and um, 
and I thought, well, I put it in a pot. I've been reading that those are really, really good for uh, air quality inside the house. Um, so in the future, maybe I'll repot it with some clean soil and, and put it inside. But for now, um, it's living outside and it's doing good. And um, yeah, so basically um, everything looks good. My, my big cactus are, are doing good and uh, um, just a quick update and to show you about these pots that uh, again, they're doing beautifully. I think the rat's tail liked it a little bit more than the burl's tail, but I think uh, both of them are progressing wonderfully. And a note on my um, string of pearls, if you see it right there behind the burl, the burl's tail, I mean not the burl's tail, the rat's tail, it is temperamental. I had it inside, I repotted it. It does not like heat. It gets a little bit of morning sun there as you see, but in the, in the hot, hot um, afternoon sun, it is shaded from the sun, but still pretty hot outside. And I see that it's not dead, but it does need a lot of water. It needs water almost every every day. So um, keep that in mind that um, the string of pearls is, is very um, finicky. And it, 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 it kind of likes to be kept moist and um, more on the cooler side. I do want to put another hook somewhere over here closer to to this table here at the top so that I could go ahead and put that um, string of pearls which um, hopefully I'll do this weekend and um, yeah because I really love love that plant and uh, I do not want it to die and look at the um, the fairy tale castle cactus though I bought that um, was it uh, probably at the beginning of the year was after the Christmas season. It has some little green Christmas bells. And um, yeah, I took those off in a jiffy and, uh, and potted it. And I see it's growing a lot. It is beautiful. And um, let me see who else is doing it's fantastic there. My uh, Devil's Tongue Cactus down there. I don't know if you can see the beautiful red spines doing fantastic and yeah my mammalarias are doing good and I potted my um, my brain cactus you can see in a video that I um, did the unboxing it's doing good and oh I redid my um, my um, let me show you I'm sorry about the the beam for the window but I'm gonna have to cross over here and uh, try to show you um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but I had to repot because this side of the window has a screen. But I went ahead and um, redid my little rock garden that I had here. And I put my Haworthias that I got in the mail there. And um, and I went ahead and took out my, um, my stone. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. Bed post in the way. But I redid my stone garden, my uh, lithops, and I mean, you can see a little snippet right there. And um, I put them in a shallow bowl, and that way I can monitor how much water they're they're getting. Because yeah, um, since I had them in this other bowl, they were combined with other other uh, little plants that needed a little bit more water, and I had a few casualties. Those just become mush. They don't let you know. Oh, we're getting sad. They from one day to another, they just. You go out and there's just some slime, you know, in a in a bundle. So I was very sad about losing one of my buttons. So I went ahead and repotted that and thought, well, I'll just put them somewhere where I can monitor them closely. And that is the, a very good idea to always, always um, try, to, try to, if you're going to put them in a grouping, make sure that your plants are same temperament they, they need the same temperature that they need the 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 same watering um requirements because if not you will have casualties and that's not a good thing and um yeah so basically i just wanted to show you um how my baskets were doing 
I know that I kind of go off the subject because, oh, I love my garden and, and um, there's always something going on. So, alrighty. Um, have a fantastic day. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.